Welcome. For this lesson, we're going to be constructing triangles while given one side and two angles. Now, once again, you need the key tools to making triangles, which is a protractor and a ruler. So, for this purpose, we're going to be constructing triangle DEF. Now, you're given one side, and side DE measures 6 centimeters. Angle D is going to measure 70 degrees, and angle E is going to measure 55 degrees. Now we're going to be determining what, uh, how long side EF is and DF, and you're also going to determine angle F. So you're trying to solve for the unknown. So once again, you're going to take your ruler, and the most important part is always just to start with a horizontal line. Now we already have the measurement of one uh, side, and that is 6 centimeters. So we know that DE measures 6 centimeters. So we're going to draw a line, a horizontal line, that is 6 centimeters. So we take our ruler and we draw a beautiful straight line that is 6 centimeters. Alright, so this is going to be our base ruler once again. And to start off, we're going to uh, label these uh, either D or E. Doesn't matter which side. This time we'll start on the left side. That is angle E, or sorry, D, and here's going to be E. Now we're going to start with our second known piece of information, which is angle D. And we know that angle D is going to measure 70 degrees. So we're going to take our protractor, and we're going to go to angle D. We're going to place it at angle D, right at the point, and right across the line, so you cannot see it. Okay. So since 70 degrees is an acute angle, we're going to be moving to the right side of the protractor. We're going to take our pencil, and we're going to find where 70 degrees is. And once again, you're just going to put a nice little dot right at the edge of your protractor. Now we're going to take the protractor, and we're going to move it across to E, because we have our third piece of information, and angle E measures 55 degrees. And since this is an acute angle, we're going to have to go to the left side of the protractor this time. And once again, we're going to find where 55 degrees is. And we're going to put our dot right there at 55 degrees. Now we can move our protractor away. Now we have two dots. This is where we're going to take our ruler. And once again, we're going to have to draw lines. Now the difference between this uh, drawing, uh, uh, constructing triangles with one side and two angles is we don't know how long the sides are. So the important thing here is for angle D, you're going to line up, and you have to draw the line, but you may have to make it bigger or smaller than what it actually is. Because for this time, you need both sides to cross. So we're going to line up our angle D, and we're going to make a nice straight line across and we may have to go a little higher. Now we're going to go to angle E, and once again, you're going to take your ruler, and you're going to line it up nice and straight with your angles. And make sure that it's perfectly aligned with your dot. And then you're going to take this and make a line so that it goes right across. But you're not going to make it go right to the dot. You have to go until this line crosses the other line that you made at D. Now once they connect, you can see that you now have a triangle. So your triangle has now been constructed. You have D, E. Now you know that the last angle is going to be label, labeled angle F. So we have F at the top. So we now have triangle DEF. Now we need to fill in the known pieces of information. Side DE measures 6 centimeters. So right across here is 6 centimeters. We also know their angles. Angle D is 70 degrees. And we have angle E which is 55 degrees. Now we need to determine the sides 
of this triangle. So we're going to take our ruler once again and we're going to measure the line That's not quite perfectly on. But make sure your ruler is perfectly on and we could see that it is about 7.1 centimeters. For side EF. And then we're going to measure the other side, which is side D or DF, take our ruler and flip it around, place the point at D, and it goes right all the way up to the corner of F, and we have about 6.2 centimeters. Alright, so we've determined now almost all the unknowns except for angle F. Now you can measure it with a protractor or you could use your math skills. Since you know that a triangle must be 180 degrees, you can place 180 degrees and you could start subtracting. 180 minus 70 is 110 and then you can subtract 55 from 110 and once you have this final answer you will know that your last angle is going to equal 55 degrees so angle EF is 55 degrees Okay, and now we've constructed a triangle while given one side and two angles.